here's what's unique about this book. Um, I framed the entire discussion as a conversation between within our, our, our covenant group and our, our kids and even our pets. And I bring in some scientists along the way. Every page is photoshopped. Uh, we use a lot of illustrations. It's kind of tongue in cheek. There's kind of quirky humor in it. It's a very odd book. It's like I mentioned earlier, a cross between uh, a graphic novel and an introductory text on contemporary science and theology. And uh, that's, I don't know if there's a, ever been a book just quite like that. The other thing that's unique is I try to show how these branches of science all support, they don't prove in and of themselves, but they support a view of God that is not only not meticulously controlling things, but a God who's altogether beautiful, a God who's adventurous, a God who's like, we're really made in his image. I mean, I've met people who had this question, it's a legitimate question. If, if God experiences all of time in a frozen moment, right, let alone if God's predestining everything, then our sense of adventure, there's nothing in God that corresponds to that. It's not part of our being made in the image of God. Um, I can't picture anything more boring than sitting, being God, looking at a, you know, a frozen block of time throughout eternity and nothing new ever happens. Uh, that would be my definition of hell, actually. Uh, but uh, I, what, I, what I'm trying to show here is that the, the science uh, that is going on today, it's been going on for about 100 years, it's kind of new scientific revolution, uh, is, is really moving away from that deterministic Newtonian framework and uh, really supporting a view of God who's adventurous, who's a risk taker, we're really made in his image, he's a God who's altogether beautiful. He is the God who is revealed in Jesus Christ dying for us on the cross.